Great, great win. Uh, really proud of our guys. Um, tremendous uh, effort all night. I thought we got off to a great start. We got off to a better start to start the second half. That's been a problem with us against Kentucky and against Auburn. Um, I thought we did a much better job getting off to a quick start with the second half. And uh, we certainly closed it. Uh, we closed it strong. Um, Gaines made some big free throws. And so um, it was a little herky-jerky there for a little bit. Um, but um, we found a way to get a get a big win. Uh, before you ask, uh, X uh, appears to be just a knee sprain. Appears to be the best case scenario for us. There's doesn't appear to be any damage with the ACL or MCL. Appears to be a knee sprain. We got to get it looked at uh, tomorrow. We only have our scanning machine here only does so much. Uh, we got to get it scanned again tomorrow. But it appears that. It's the best case scenario. It'll be a matter of of, of days to a week uh, with him, which would be fantastic. Yeah. So it was an 11-11 game, and then I think you guys hit 14 of your final 21 shots in the first half. Just what did you like? Yeah, I should have mentioned that. I thought our offense, outside of some of the sloppy turnovers, I thought our offense, especially, I thought we took great threes, we took great shots, we did a good job getting to the to the rim. Our offense looked as good as it's looked in a long time, and. We're capable of that. To put 79 on the second best defensive team in the country, we're capable of that. We took really, really good threes outside or one or two of them. We did a good job attacking the rim. We need to continue to work on finishing at the rim and finish a little bit better. Uh, we need to finish a little bit better at the rim. But uh, overall, I was very, very pleased with our offense. When you uh, obviously you have a lot of great spurts and some not so great spurts, when you have a, like the second half, when you hit a lull, when you have five or six turnovers and a a bunch of missed shots, and you see a lead dwindle. Is there a temptation to call timeout? You just kind of listen, look. This is what we. Well, play. the way we play, there's a lot of ebb and flow to the game. You know, one of the big issues in that is we missed a bunch of free throws. Uh, we missed a bunch of free throws that it could have kept us a working margin, and uh, we didn't do as good a job keeping. I mean, Kenny Chandler's a heck of a player, and we didn't do a great job keeping him in front of the. And we didn't do a great job of staying in front of the ball, uh, staying in front of the ball with him. But um, I was, um, you know. Look, we, we, there's there's ebbs and flows to the game. With the with the young team, I like to save all my timeouts till the end of the game if we need them. You know, if we couldn't get the ball in bounds or if we, we were trapped, I was you know I can call those timeouts in the last two minutes. So I try to I try to save those as as, as best I can. Well, after these last couple of games and some of the ones that he's had earlier in the year, how much of a stretch is it to say Tari Easton's your best player? I mean, Tari Easton's one of the best players in the country. That's not a stretch. I guess also just I mean, what do you want? I mean, what do you want me to say? He's one of the best players in the country. He's done it night in and night out. Um, he continues to to improve, continues to get better. He, he continues to work hard, and I mean, he's 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 one of the best players in the, in the entire country. Right. And just the atmosphere with the crowd tonight. You, you've had some big show outs, but what did you think about how they may have? It's fun. Them? I thought the crowd did a great job. They kind of willed us down the stretch there. It was loud when we got those dunks and the defensive stops. I mean, it was. It's what it's about. That's what it's about. We, 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 the student section was great. The crowd was great. It was close to a sellout. I mean, that's that's what you want. You, you know, I mean, we've beaten two top 20, 20 teams in the country at home this week. I mean, we I don't I won't speak for Kent. We probably hadn't had too many weeks like that around here. Um, but uh, you know, that's what you want. And the fans, the fans, uh, the fans showed out. And and uh, you know, our kids deserve it. Our kids work hard, and and, and they certainly. Um, Certainly deserve it, and um, you know I was I was I was excited for our guys. Uh, yeah, coach, just how they feel to see, to see some jump shots and some threes finally start falling. Well, we took season. good ones. You take good ones, they go in usually. Uh, we got good players and good shooters, which we have. We just took a lot better. We took a lot better shots. Hey, Will, um, having play, gone through this stretch, I think um, we saw the game rise notes right the first time. You all started conference play with three ranked opponents in program history. Um, Kind of what do you take away from this? And not just well, it's going not going to get any easier. We hadn't been very good on the road, so we've got to turn around, and go to Florida, and uh, on Wednesday. So we got a, we got a lot of work to do there. But I mean, obviously, I mean, we take we've won two quad one games this week. We're a good team. I mean, we knew that, but we've got to keep getting better. If you stay the same in this league, you're going to get passed by. And so we've got to keep getting better. I thought we got better from Auburn. To Kentucky, I thought we got better from Kentucky to here. We had two unbelievable days of practice, two best days of practice we've had all year long leading up to this game. Our guys were locked in. They watched the Ole Miss-Tennessee game as a, as a team uh, on Wednesday night when we were at the radio show. X kind of organized all that. I mean, we got some really good stuff with these guys. And um, 
you know, we, we're, we're, um, you know, we got to keep it going. We got to stay disciplined. We got to stay down, but we, we've got to keep moving forward because if you, if, if, if we start stepping back or we start staying the same, we'll get passed. Well, considering he had limited playing time last year, are you surprised the way Tyree was able to come out in the second half and kind of take over the game there? At the no, I mean, he's a great player. Uh, we knew that when we recruited him. Um, you know, he's just playing his tail off. He's doing he's doing great things, and um, he's only going to continue to get better. The more he gets – you know, it took him – the more he gets used to the competition, the more he gets used to playing. I mean, he's just – He's, uh, you know, he's uh, he's enjoying it. But I mean, shoot, I was getting off the treadmill early this morning. He was in the gym getting ready to work out, and he was in a full sweat this morning, early this morning, uh, working out. And Pinson and Imwani were in here last night. Days was in here this morning. Gaines was in here. I mean, you know, our guys work, our guys work, and uh, and that uh, you know it, it, that leads to that leads to, to to winning. And his reaction when you told him he was going to start the second half. I didn't even tell him. Nelly told him. I told Nelson, my ops guy, start Eason. I don't. I don't even know what his reaction was. I wasn't paying attention. I was doing something else. Um, I'm not trying to get you in trouble here, but when the whistle's blowing as frequently as it was tonight, what's the message I guess to the players about not losing discipline in that in those situations? Next question. Okay. <laughs> I, I, was trying to, as a player, so not, not I don't want to talk about any messaging surrounding officiating. <laughs> Got to move on. Next play, one play at a time. Glenn's trying to Glenn's trying to get me fined. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Spoke with the players and days had emphasized how, you know, I guess you don't want to take your loss, but then the loss against Auburn was needed to reset. How much has these back to back wins really helped get the momentum going back forward? Well, we'll see. I mean, we got to go on the road. We, you know, you got to you got to protect your home court. You got to be great at home, which we which we were obviously the last two games. And now we got to be able to do it in a hostile environment on the road. We got to be able to stay together. We got to be able to stay connected and we got to be able to make things we got to be able to, uh, to to make things happen on the road. So, um, you know, I think I think we certainly got some positive momentum. But now we've got to, now we got to go on the road to a place that we struggled at uh, in Gainesville, and we got to go down there and, and we got to uh, got to find a way to uh, find a way to dig out a, a, a tough uh, a tough tough road game. So, um, you know, onto the next onto the next uh, onto the next opportunity at this point. Um, at 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 the end, you lose X. They coming on strong. You lose X. They cut it to five. What was the talk among the team? You know, at that well, point? I thought the, we were up eight when we lost X. I thought the two defensive possessions we had were good. Vescovi hit a, a a sidestep three after we flew at him and contested. Gaines had a huge block on that baseline out of bounds play. We guarded that thing. We guarded that clock all the well all the way down to one second, and then Gaines had the big block. So, you know, the message was was you know, look, X would want us to. To win, we need to win, and then we'll, we'll we'll go figure everything out after that. I mean, look, our guys are used to, um, you know, we're used to difficult circumstances. I mean, we don't even have freaking hot water in here, all right. So we're used to doing well in difficult circumstances. The dang water heater's broken over here, and we we don't have hot water. The roof leaks. We have to move practice because the damn roof leaks and the trap we put the trash cans down and have to go to the second side of the floor when it rained the other day. Like our guys are used to it. Our guys are used to it. The tougher the situations, the better we do. I know. Coaches, Good question. I know coaches all always say uh, it doesn't matter who starts, who finishes. But has there been a, I guess, a reluctance to start Easton because we're winning. Uh, we're fourteen and one. We're two and one in the SEC. Nobody in their right mind would change things up. I mean, look, he's a starter. I mean, what else? We, I mean, I know he doesn't have his name called. He's a starter. He's a great player. He plays a ton of minutes. We close the game with him. I mean, I, I don't know what else there is. I don't know what else there is to it. But he's, you know, he's he's uh, he's uh, he's a great player. But I mean, this is how we started the season, and and you know, we're not changing any of that. Thanks. Thank you.